Hello, who's looking for me? Howdy. What? No. Bertram say no. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Well, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. I fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. Yes, and Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to I so do. I can get on with whipping that snot nose run into shape? He owes me. He owes us big time. Bertram and Marjorie. Max has? Wouldn't Bertram like a sherry? Bertram like sherry. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Barkeep sherry. Make it the cheapest one you have. Rat piss will do. His pretty dance. We'll see it run in front of him. Everything okay? Imagine saving people. Taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little no, tiny magician I... has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. No. Oh, fuck it, he... No, no. Bertram! 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 Woof, woof! Bertram! Put the knife! something you only eat him um uh e e easy there uh, easy there uh oh sherry Bertram! whoa uh, ow Bertram got a whoopsie i don't want to hurt him uh, uh, enough cut that out mean man uh, i don't want to get hurt either no fair not nice! You're not nice either! So strong and so stupid. Sorry, Bertram! Uh, mean! Uh, wasting my time. Come here, Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama. You should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry. We'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama is going to make it all better. But first, you got to tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promised. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. <laughs> You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Sounds like a Margaret kind of character. Ooh. Feel bad for Bertram. That lady wasn't quite nice either. How goes? You're right. more than being drunk. 
Yeah. This seems like a working <laughs> down. Hello, Jay. What am I doing? Hey. Hey there, folks. Magnifico is immediately on the map. Give me another. You can see him already. He's all the way back here. I guess we'll go do this one and then on the way back we'll do that one then. Okay. What do you want? Wait, did it say Van Horn Trading Post? Ah, Trading Town. Howdy. Hey, mister. Cool. Howdy. Are you on that bug juice? Hey. Sorry. Hey. Pretty small coastal kind of place, huh? I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to explore it though, so I don't think we need to do it too much right now. Gentlemen. Yeah. Do I know you? Okay, people are kind of mean too. Guess I'll head on then. I didn't know there were more towns here. I thought the places that we've been to were all the towns we were gonna see. Well, I never. Frankly, Hello. I just never Sir. noticed that the map wasn't even filled up properly. Hey there. What? <laughs> Calm down. Why do you get mad at me? All I did was get on the horse. Jeez. God, my honor I dropping like again. This one. Ah. <sighs> hey, boy. How's Kane doing? I feel like I haven't talked to him hey, around partner. camp for a long time. Yeah. All right, well, Van Horn. Pretty sure we'll come visit you again someday. But today, Ansberg. So there's at least two more towns that we hadn't seen before. Oh my god. And there might be more too. Maybe some across the river. And Blackwater. I want to officially look around Hello, at Blackwater, sir. although hey, I don't mister. know if it's possible. Hey there, mister. Thank you, thank you. Is that Ansberg? Right over there? Yep. What are you? <laughs> what? Whoa, whoa, easy. Aggro? What is that? What are you not willing to go over there for? That black bear. Was it a bear? What was that? Hey, buddy, you gotta calm down. Yeah, our bonding love. Wait, who are you? Oh! Did I steal somebody's horse? Oh my god! Oh my... Is that why... Oh my god, that was probably why that guy got mad at me. Yeah. Holy crap! How... <laughs> no, we gotta compare them side by side, okay? Because they look... They look similar, don't they? Damn that horse! Oh my god, that's embarrassing! Agro, I'm sorry! And this guy was right outside the saloon, too! Oh, no wonder that guy got mad at me. He's woke. Look! They look similar. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. That's cool, girl. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, I hope you get back into town yourself, all right. <laughs> sorry about that. Wow, that was just... Could you imagine if we never figured it out? Oh, my God. I was thinking, Agro is a little bit agitated all the time, but not that agitated. That horse got scared seeing like one thing in the distance from 20 miles away. What was that anyway? I don't know. A bear of some kind? It was black and it had four legs. Yep. <laughs> That's pretty much all I saw. There, girl. I think we're heading off to Ansberg here. Little rabbit, don't come over here. I don't want to step on you. Ansberg. Ow! Whoa! Ooh! Yet another coastal town. Roanoke region. Oh, there's a mine here. A mining town. Okay. Another more industrial type of deal here. You never listen to me. It's like talking to a goddamn wall. Marital disputes. What do you want me to do? I don't want you to work in that mine no more, okay? Would you rather go back to thieving? Hmm? 
I'm providing for my family. Well, you can't provide for us if you ain't got no lungs. And what if it caves in again? <sighs> well, I told you a hundred times already. It'll get better. Yeah, sure. And who's gonna change things around here? You? Jameson? He'll work you to death. I've had enough. I'm gonna go put food on the table. Oh, he just wants to work. Well, go on then. See if I care whether you come back. Oh. He's just scared. Good job's hard to find. A good job? Caking your lungs for a couple of dollars a week? Scared or not, he's gonna ruin us both. Hmm, it's hard. He's, it's hard. If you live in the mining town, chances are you work in the mine. So that's just... That's just how it goes. If you're worried, maybe try finding him another job. Social order. What is that? Recent events at the mines at Ansberg render it necessary for all residents and workers and all strangers who have received hospitality and protection to assist in preserving preserving social order and maintaining the supremacy of the law. What? What do you mean? What does social order mean? Just being a good citizen? I mean, I guess so. I don't really know what they want. Sheriff! You. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshall was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long has he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? Well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become Marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Increased pay and all, too. Outlaw camp. We gotta do it right now. All right, let's go then. Gotta make sure you're aggro Girl. this time. Hey, Mister. Hello. A guard for the cargo or what? All oh, the barrels and the stuff. Yep, slowly, slowly, and then we go up here. Lots of guards here. Adam. The mines. Out there, mister. Get in the Sorry, sorry. Don't get angry. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a town for leisurely activities. Just mining and mining. And the other place, too. But that one wasn't a mining town. But it's probably some flavor of something else, similar. We're looking for Slim Grant today because Jim Boy Calloway wanted us to get him. Chances are, I'm guessing we're gonna have to... Uh, we're gonna have to duel, right? That's what this gunslinger thing has been all about the whole time. Finding the best gunslinger in all of the Wild West. So we'll see. Oh, be careful, boy. Or girl. Yeah, you want to get a bit of a dip? There you go. All nice and clean. And there is the outlaw camp. They captured him.
At least I got my gun. Yep. Oh, have they noticed me? Hello, friends. I I sort of come in peace. Sort of. Oh. Okay. There it is. Which one's Slim Grant, though? We gotta not kill him. You made short work of him. I did. Are you in a cage or something? I don't see you right now. Hey, over here. Oh, we're on the tree. Maybe we should have just gotten him on the tree, huh? I've been praying for someone like you to come, son. Wow, they had a small camp going on in here. Quite nice. The tree over here. Yeah, I know. Beggars can't be choosers, all right. Hey. I'm tied to this tree. You must be Slim Grant. State Marshal. Slim Grant. <sighs> okay. Let's get you out of here. Yes. Indeed, son. <sighs> Deliver him to the drop off point. Which is here. Wow, that's really north. I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You might as well relax. This is real peculiar. I'm Let's State Marshal. Yeah, it's pretty weird, huh? I rescued him, <laughs> but I'm not letting him go. Yeah, I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. Now, you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? I was, before you got so short with me. Ooh. We can't just walk down here, can we? Son, what the hell are you up to? Whoa. I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. It's a reunion of sorts. Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. Someone wants to see you. I'm taking you to him. What if I don't want to see them? Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrists. Hmm. <laughs> gotta follow the main road. This place is, uh, we're pretty unfamiliar with it, so we should... I'm a state marshal. We should be careful. this is an abduction. Horse shit, I'm saving you. This is just a little detour on the way to liberty. I will prosecute you for this, you insubordinate bastard. There you go again, Mr. Grant. Ain't doing yourself no favors. What's your name, son? I ain't got no name, and I ain't your son. Sit tight. I'll take you to your friend, and this will all be over. Oh, not for you, it won't be. Whatever you say. Hmm. Yeah, State Marshal, though. This, this is, is uh. It. Down here. It worries me a little bit. It's almost over, Marshal. Should Grant. we be worried? State Marshal Grant. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Levin. Is Jim Boy here? <laughs> so you got him. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? <sighs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have if you'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. 
Come on, fight me! It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Whoa, dude. State Marshal. Well, that settles that, then. I shot him in the back. I shot him in the goddamn back. And these things happen. God damn you, goddamn both of you! Well, now calm down. Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on, draw! Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! Why? Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> I was trying to aim so that he wouldn't. God, I'm always so bad with a dueling. Let's try not shooting him in the head, though. Okay. Y'all good? Oh, you still want more? No? You're fine, aren't you? Uh... Hello? Oh, I think it's glitched up, because I can't do anything. Uh-oh. Oh! Shit! Shit, indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, uh, don't you start now. No, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No, and you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, no, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. <laughs> oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. <laughs> oh, I guess you had to kill him, because I shot him in the the arm and he was still like that a gun here that was so bad though cuz uh, you know the bug I had to close the game and open it again and I had to replay the entire mission all the way from when we were back in Van Horn yeah I had to like freaking ride over here and pick up the quest again get Callaway or uh, get um State Marshal Grant from the cab and then come over here again a little bit annoying and along the way I actually forgot to go to the old tomb again, so the, the journal entry that we just got for coming here... I don't have it anymore. Maybe we'll come across it sometime again, but at this moment, I wouldn't know where it is. Callaway's revolver. Uh... Can I have that? Halloway's revolver. Double action revolver, Callaway's revolver. Oh. Maybe I should drop this one instead. Yeah, because one is a pistol, one is a revolver, right? But right now, we have two revolvers. Yeah, Callaway's revolver, midnight pistol. Bit of a shame, but I guess it was gonna end that way, because this guy. This guy was kind of nuts. This guy, though, he really didn't deserve to die. No. Oh, I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. Whatever, I don't regret it. Let's go, girl. The guy back at the sheriff. Now he's really gonna become the new state marshal, huh? <laughs> Good for him, I suppose. And with that, I guess we're finally done all the things that we came up north for. Huh, we went on a bit of a detour, didn't we? 
The old tomb place, though. Uh, I wish I could find it again, but not gonna sweat it too much. I'll just follow the road here. And yeah, places like Van Horn, Ansberg. We didn't stay in there for too long, but I'm sure we'll get a chance to sometime in the future. Because these are supposed to be like new towns, right? So they'll definitely give me more time to explore it later on. Oh, not sure who the enemy behind me was. Oh, that's uh... That's where we were just now, right? I think so. Let's go find this Magnifico figure then. Dutch has been waiting for me for quite a while, too. So. Okay, I think we're coming up on this Magnifico figure here. I'll know when I see him, apparently. Mmm, I don't see anybody here at all. Oh. Hello. Oh. You're a dwarf. Whoa. <laughs> That's amazing. If you say so. Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta! Marjorie! Well, she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! No. Stay away from me. Ah. Uh. Hey, Barnard, come back here. I think we roughly know what's going on here. That woman's been making a living off this guy and the other guy. Running ain't solving anything. Oof. You got the wrong end of this. Whoa, what the heck? Oh. Hey, will you talk? I'm going in a dish hey. up here. You're starting to irritate me. Whoa! What the hell you pulling here? Oh, <laughs> that's a neat trick. He's not here, is he? It's steak dinner, funny show. <laughs> no wonder he's the talent. Holy crap! It's not just the whole being a dwarf thing. This guy's actually talented. <laughs> Damn it! Now where you gone? Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Oh. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Well, this clearing is so small. If he's not here, he's not here. What? Over here, dummy. Oh. <laughs> well, ain't you led me on a merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on there. Whoa! Ah, so it. long, dummy. Where are you? Damn! Oh, really? really? We're going. Uh, too bad about that train. Oh lord. Stop making an old man run so much. Oh my gosh. I can only go so fast. Back 
I'm gone on the next train to the Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed your brother. So you are going to be pulling rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Ah, oh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. Oh, Please. I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back together. Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing Saint Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you two? <laughs> they somehow make it work. This weird, dysfunctional family. Well, good for them, I suppose. Good for them. What the heck? Why are you here? You should be back at camp! Oh, now I gotta worry about you too! Okay, girl. Oh, girl. Welcome to Lemoyne, says the sign. Okay, well, I think we've cleared everything on the map that we can see for now. Probably time for us to visit Dutch, right? Let's get straight to it. Yep. Although I'm a little bit worried now because we have two horses following us. Hey, are you following? If not, you should be. Easy, girl. God, why are you even here? You should be back at the camp. Follow me, girl. Well, if you're here, we'll have to take care of you. What are we doing with Dutch again? Let me see. We're going to Lagra. Is that how you pronounce that? Thomas agreed to row the gang in quietly. Oh yes, going to Bronte's mansion. This is not gonna turn out well. Oh god. And we're gonna have two horses with us too. Oh my lord. I just hope neither of them get hurt. That's all I asked for. What's this house? Whoa. Oh, this is Black Bell's house. We've been here quite a few times. Hmm? Straight to Dutch. 